hi guys welcome to my channel this is me if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for the support so um it's early in the morning it's about 8 30 a.m i have a ophthalmologist appointment with a eye specialist that um, specializes in treating eye disease and treatment for stuff like um cataracts glaucoma stuff like that so if you guys watched um, one of my previous video where my eyes were red and I mentioned that due to a head injury I had developed glaucoma so I was getting treated for that which I have to use nightly drops so my eyes are constantly swollen and red as a result of the treatment but that's one of the methods to actually keep the eye pressure down so I have an appointment to go check the pressures in my eyes I don't know how much of it I could film because once they um, start messing with my eyes, I won't be able to see properly. So my daughter's coming along with me, but her dad is going to keep her outside because I can't like navigate having her physically there with me and do everything that I need to do. So I want to take you guys along and share as much as I can, whatever I can. But that's what we're doing this morning. So I'm going to get out this house because I don't want to be late. I want to get there on time. So again, guys, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I show um, DIY stuff, lifestyle, mommy and daughter time. I do a little bit of cooking too. So if this is content you'll be interested in, then consider subscribing to my channel and join the family. So let's get on the road. All right. So yeah guys, I'm outside right now. So I'm literally gonna get in the vehicle and head there. So I wanted to just update you guys. So I'm gonna go get this thing done. So hopefully the pressures in my eyes are not high because I've been really working hard and to use the drops actually in my eyes, what it does is it burns so i hope that using it consistently actually is working enough for the pressures to be lowered to a level where it's okay because the higher the pressure is in my eye the more i'm at risk for permanent damage so well actually did i say that good i don't know why i'm talking like that but yeah so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that everything goes good and i'll update you guys as i said i don't know if I could actually film everything because they will be messing with my eyes, but I'll do my best. Okay. Yes, again, guys. So I am here. About to go in. This is where I'm going. Where's this bell? Okay guys, so I'm just gonna wait and um, hopefully I get through really soon, so I will check in. Are we doing any tests today? Just an angle, just taking a picture of like the corner of your eye. Okay, because I think I had done it last time I was here. Okay. I'm, and I'm not sure what I did, but I know I did something. <laughs> yes. Do you feel? No. Last time, last time I was here, I got refilled for three months and six months. I'm not sure. Just six months. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, are those like focal lenses? No. Just for reading? Um, I think so. And they have like some blue blocker thing. Like oh, that. For, yeah. The, for the computer? Yeah.
like this. Do you usually check your vision with the glasses or without the glasses? Huh? Do you usually check your vision with without. The glasses? Without. Okay. Yeah. Just flip this side up a few more times here. Z D H N. Uh, N H C E T. Okay. okay, you lost me there. <laughs> <laughs> Switch. Uh, Switch? Yes. Would you see? D H L O E. Okay, I can't see that. Okay. A little bit better now that I'm seeing from this eye. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like a twenty twenty five vision. Oh, okay. Yeah, without glasses. Oh, not bad. Come forward. Yeah. Okay, so just keep my eyes open. Yeah, just, just, just like this, right? No. Just yeah, just look straight forward. Okay. And then we're done? Uh, I guess so. Okay, no problem. Hey guys, so I'm um, in the ophthalmologist's um, office right now, waiting. Just waiting for them to do what they need to do, and um, yeah, hopefully, I could still film. If not, because there's nowhere to put the phone, if not, I'll just let you guys know how everything goes after. <laughs> okay. No problem. The last field was the coming with the field. Just a fine little wait until we get 
field test as well. Yes. Drops in there, right? Hmm? I put drops in there. Yes, you did. Yeah. Okay, so how often are you missing the drops? I missed one night last week, and That's it? Um, today is Wednesday, and I missed Sunday because I was up with my daughter because she was sick. So, okay. Yeah. But I don't miss it. I bring it Excellent. with me. So how are the eyes doing? Good. Okay, good. Continue with the same. Let me just get this out here. Okay. So guys, I'm in this room waiting. I guess I'm gonna check my eyes again. But yeah, so the doctor said it's doing okay. So I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy to hear that because it's been a rough ride using the drops and stuff because my eyes get red and stuff, but it's definitely worth it because the eyes are getting better and that's all I want. So I'll work out all the little kinks, but I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful that I'm able to like get the eyes checked out. I'm able to get treated because I'm telling you, to navigate this world you need your eyes and um, that's in no way to say that those who have vision issue are actually are blind um, are not able to navigate life it's just that I've been accustomed to having very good vision and in the instance of one accident all of it could have been taken away from me but I've been working really hard I've been doing everything that I'm supposed to and we're not perfect, we're human beings so as I was telling the doctor I missed um, Sunday night of this week and the week prior to I missed one night but to use them six nights weekly I'm really on top of my thing because I want my eyes to get better and with glaucoma especially as a result of injuries to the eyes or the head it can deteriorate if you don't get it under wraps so i don't know if it's a lifelong thing but i know it's been a rough few years so yeah it's easier to chit chat while it's happening so i don't forget any of the details and sorry guys if i'm looking all over my eyes are a little bit shifty now and feeling sticky and a little bit stingy but i'm good <laughs> i'm good once again this is the thing Okay. Yeah, because I saw the doctor already. Um, are they gonna send drops? I don't. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, no, not actually. Okay. Alright, so I'll just sit outside. You find out for me. Cause I don't want to sit there if I could go. <laughs> yeah, but. <sighs> Just waiting now.
Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm done. I'm gonna head home. Surprisingly, <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, I'm not. My vision is not as foggy as I thought it would be, and I'm just wearing my glasses again. But yeah, so I go back in August of this year and everything was okay today because it was in and out i guess i need to do a field test when i come back in august because i did one at my previous um check-in so yeah so all of that is done and um i asked the receptionist to send over my prescription to my pharmacy and they're still gonna let me use the artificial tears to help with like clearing the eyes and help with the burning from the actual medication now I'm on the street and it's pretty noisy. I'm gonna head home. So what I'm gonna do is actually go take a little rest, let my eyes rest a little bit and um, I'll get back on here if I need to. But if I don't, thank you guys for watching. But yeah, so we'll chat in the next video or if I get back on here. So thank you guys again for watching. All right. Yeah guys, I'm back home. So everything went well and i have my baby here with me um so the pressures in my eyes are normal so all i have to do is continue using my drops they sent new drops for me and for the artificial tears to help with like the redness and the itchiness so hopefully it helps i have to go back in august which i will do a complete field uh -huh. test then you say hi she's still not feeling good so I have to just take my time. She don't want to take the hoodie off yet. So I'm just going to leave her. But yeah. So I just wanted to update you guys. I'm here. I'm going to go get something to um, eat right now. But I'll talk to you guys um, later hopefully. I don't know if I should close the video out yet. But i probably just get back on here and talk to you guys later. So yeah. Yeah. I'm happy that I got up. Got it done early. And now I could actually relax a little bit I had these in my hair but I took them out because this is a little bit more Jesse there were let me see they were right here I think yeah see and I have the second one I'm just putting them back <laughs> oh god honestly I haven't really tried to retouch or restyle this wig not really into all that right now I just I just want something that fits my head and that works so I think that's how I had it before but yeah but yeah guys so that is it but honestly taking care of your eyes it's priority number one for me anyways because I actually went through a lot this past few years like with not being able to see from my initial prescription glasses to go into my routine eye exam and finding out that the pressures were dangerously high in my eyes to the point that I had to see a specialist ASAP, which I did. And upon being diagnosed with glaucoma, it has been a rough few years. But with consistency, with following my treatment regimen, with consistency and following my treatment regimen, I've gotten to a point where I could go to the doctor now for the second, my last two visits and could smile. I could actually walk out of there with a smile on my face because I know that the treatment is actually working. I'm not where I need to be, but certainly not in that serious danger zone that I was before I start using the treatment and I'm going to try to make it even more of a priority to not miss any nights at all because I didn't miss one night last week and I missed Sunday of this week. Today is Wednesday so I missed Sunday. That's just because my daughter has been sick with the cold. I was sick with the cold too. I still have it but I'm at a stage where I'm basically good. But she's still going through it. And um, I know they had told me when she got her vaccine, 10 different story in one, that she will um, probably run a temperature. She will have like a little bit of rashes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and stuff, she has gotten everything that they said that she'll probably get. Everything. Let's take the hoodie off, mama. Let's take the hoodie off. So I'm just taking care of her and making sure that she's okay. And in the meantime, take care of myself. Because you know that if mommy's not good, then baby won't be good. I have to self-care first before I can provide the care that I... Um, I provide for her so yeah so thank you guys again and uh, yeah I'll just talk to you guys in the next video remember to like share subscribe turn the post notification bell on so you don't miss any videos whenever I post and uh, I'm out <laughs> <laughs> bye guys <laughs>